Hey, Facebook friends, I want to take a moment and talk about courage. You now, I was reading Joshua chapter 1, it says uh, in verse 6, Be strong and brave. You must lead these people in the conquest of this land that I solemnly promised their ancestors I would hand over to them. Make sure you're very strong and brave. Careful to obey all the law my servant Moses charged you to keep. Don't swerve from it to the right or to the left, so you may be successful and prosper in all that you do. Actually, says successful here. You can be successful in everything you do. A lot of times we think about success, and we forget about the component that you need a lot of courage and strength. You need that boldness. You need the ability to take a risk. You need the ability to 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 uh, invest. You need the ability to go and apply for another job. You need the uh, you need the courage to see it through tough times, to overcome adversity. Even last Sunday, some of you guys remember that I talked about in verse 5, it says no one will be able to resist you all the days of your life. It doesn't mean they won't try. Because our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers in high places. Um, and the Bible says it rains on the just and the unjust. We're all going to face trials. And sometimes those trials are really hard. And sometimes those transitions are really hard. There's going to be grieving. And there's going to be emotional battles and there's going to be the need for marriage counseling and uh, altar calls and people coming uh, to get help. I mean, we're all going to have to experience those times where we're at the top of the mountain and other times we're at the bottom. But the no matter what we're facing, whether it's the top or somewhere in between or we're at the bottom, we're going to need to be bold and strong so we don't become crippled. The biggest thing that I know that I've been facing lately is just the discouragement, fear uh, from what I experience physically. Not a not a healthy, not a good thing. And uh, so I'm dealing with that now. Is how do you overcome that? How do you overcome the bad news? How do you overcome some some pretty devastating uh, situations or circumstances? But the Bible says I'm supposed to be courageous and bold, and it says be very strong. So I want to encourage you. I just was sharing with a friend of mine who's who's walking his mom through cancer right now. Just, goodness gracious, he's gonna have to be strong. And and he, he said something so powerful, he says, I, I just feel like I've got the grace on me for this now. Which is what we've been talking about. Great grace is released in 2017 so that we can not only make it through tough times, but be successful. That's what's really, really important here that we can, success is not always, you know, four Bentleys and a, and a Rolls Royce uh, in a park fair tree. A success is uh, being able to overcome what life throws at you. I've been seeing lately for me personally, it's been a tough pill to swallow. But I just decided to take a little bit of honey with it and, and, and a little peanut butter. <laughs> and I'm asking Holy Spirit, help me reinterpret. Help me believe, help me hope, help me have faith. And I'm it's just sucking all the juice out of the situation so it's going to give me enough power to change. And See, pain creates change, right? Unless it's, I don't want to change backwards, I want to change forward, right? Um, so I'm using this pain to as currency. Because honestly, the devil sends pain in your life to destroy you. And, and others send pain in your life. And the world is a painful place sometimes. But the point is, use it as currency. Pain can be your currency. So when you go to that little ticket counter and go, I'm going to buy more success, or I'm going to buy more happiness, I'm going to buy a breakthrough in my marriage, I'm going to win my family to the Lord, I'm going to get them to that Easter play, or whatever it is that you want to see happen, you're going to be successful. That's why it says, no one will be able to resist you. In other words, although they'll fight you, they won't be able to resist you. Because you're, you're, a, you're a force. Just say it with me, I'm a force today. I'm a force. I'm going to overcome a stroke. I'm going to overcome whatever thing you're facing right now. You're going to overcome it in Jesus' name. And uh, that's how you have to think. Because no one's going to do that for you. Now, you could have prayer partners and coaches and mentors and pastors and doctors and counselors. But ultimately, friends, you're, you're going to have to fill up your toolbox. And you're going to have to make some tough decisions every single day. So I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, that it says here, you be strong. And you be very courageous, and you be bold. Um, you can do it. You can do it. I just wanted to encourage you today. Uh, that's where I'm at, and I wanted to pass that on to you. That as I'm making that daily decision to be strong and very strong and bold and courageous, I know you'll make the same decision. I love you with all my heart. 
Thanks for being my friend on Facebook. Please pass it on to others who need a word of encouragement uh, because they're in a trial or a transition and need to realize that they are, uh, you know, the word for victory or the God of victory is Nike. And, Nike. and Paul actually uses the same word. So guess what? We're experiencing Nike right now because of Jesus Christ. Because you're going to be bold and strong. Yeah. I love you guys. See you next time.